is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, going to get into the fights today. Old Carlos Adames uh, and, and uh, Berlanga get some A-side treatment. Um, we're going to get into all that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. All right, um, let's get into today's show. Um, guys, that was atrocious. Like, that was atrocious, atrocious. Um, that that stoppage in the Adamez fight, I mean, it's not as bad as um, Roley, but nothing could be that bad. That was terrible. He was a little buzzed. The momentum in the fight had switched. You saw Adamez, who hates making weight, who can't stop eating, uh, slowing down and breaking down. And you saw J-Rock, a disciplinarian who works hard, comes prepared, is in a great camp with Breadman, starting to turn the tide. Now, Adamez had what I thought was going to be his last moment in the fight. Like, um, I had him up 77, 75. Um, I gave uh, J Rock one, three, and nine. I gave Adamas four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Have I got that right? I think that's right. Wait, one, three, and nine? One, three, and eight. Yeah, one, three, and eight. Well, it was a stop in the ninth, right? Whatever the next to last round was, I gave that round the first and the third to Adamas, uh, to, to J Rock. And, and J Rock was coming on, and, and you saw Adamas slowing down. Adamas should be up on the scorecard. We're going to get the scorecards in just a minute. Um, J-Rock was having a good round early. Adonis turned it on and had um, J-Rock in the slightest bit of trouble. I mean, a slight bit of trouble. You saw him survive a storm in the fourth. He, he's a pro. He knows how to do it. He's been in with better dudes than Adonis. If I, that, that stop it was garbage. And you see that he had survived it. And once you saw him survive it, that's when they stopped the fight. There's something that stinks there. And I, I, I'm not calling it corruption because the, I, I, I tweeted it. You can check my Twitters. Um, I, I tweeted the Minnesota commission is garbage. It's just garbage. And I said that in, 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 the, in the knockout, in the 10 count, in the fight before. It's just a garbage commission. It's, it, it, every time – look, I like the city of Minneapolis. I really, really do. It's a great city. It's a cool city. I wouldn't want to go there in the winter. <laughs> right? Um, but the commission is horrible. Every time, and, and the Armory, the Armory, Armory, isn't, I, I covered a fight there. Uh, it, 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 this is probably two years ago. I covered a fight there, and it was cool. Like, it was a cool venue. It's a great city. It, that, and I understand why they want to do fights there, except it's horrible. It's a horrible commission, and they shouldn't have fights there. I mean, it's just terrible. They got to get better, or they, they just got to stop putting fights there. I went to a David Morrell fight. I, I forget who he fought. He got a first round knockout. It just blew somebody out, right? Omar War is fun on the card. Uh, I saw the Brandon Glenn. Um, I, I was just awful, man. It's just just terrible. The stoppage was terrible because you knew J Rock was going to survive. Then if we get to the tenth round, J Rock runs the last three rounds. Is that enough? Does he come back and steal the fight? They can't have that. Right? <clears throat> now let's get to the cards. 80 to 72. Wow. So J Rock didn't win the third. He didn't win the first. He didn't win the ninth. The eighth. I'm sorry. I keep saying that. The eighth. He didn't win none of those rounds. Really? I don't think this fight was hard to score. 
The, the only one was the fourth round. Did you give it 10-8? But there were no toss-up rounds in that fight. There really wasn't. There really was no toss-up rounds in that fight. I, I, it was so easy to score that fight. And somehow they got it wrong. And how did they get it wrong? All in the favor of the A-side fighter. All of them. Ask yourself this question. If they had scored every round for J-Rock, how would you feel about that? Do you think if you reversed it and J-Rock had Adames in that amount of trouble, right? If you, if J-Rock had Adames in the same amount of trouble that Adames had J-Rock in, do you think they would have stopped the fight? If your answer is no, and of course it is, then there's something going on. It's terrible. Um, and then the Erickson Lubin knockout. It's not great, guys. It's not good. Shout out to my bro my boy Burley Burks for getting that win uh in, 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 the, in the card. Good job, Burley. Uh all right, let, let's get um <clears throat> into the uh Berlanga fight. Berlanga won. Because he pulled out the 10-7 round. That fight was slightly in favor of uh, Quigley or slightly in favor of Berlanga, right? Like, it was a toss-up fight going into that last round. Quigley was nailing him with the right hand, nailing him with the right hand. He was winning round after round. Berlanga got two knockdowns, won the second Totally bogus, completely bogus knockdown, which which changed a 10-9 round to a 10-8 round, right? Uh, and, and you saw it quickly won the first, then there's the knockdown. Uh, quickly wins the third and the fourth. Am I getting these rounds right? And then there's a knockdown in the fifth. That's not really a knockdown to get Berlanger back in the fight. Now, you got to score the knockdown because it's rule of knockdown, but that's a bogus knockdown. And then you get to the cards. So it was one and two, right, with a knockdown. One and two, quickly won, and then the knockdown came in three. Is that right? I'm forgetting. Right, But quickly was winning every single round before the knockdown. Outside of the knockdown, quickly was winning every round. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's winning all these rounds with his right hand, nailing him with the right hand, winning the battle of the jabs, hitting him with the right hand. Yes, it, it, some of these rounds were close. And I, I was going to ask, you know, did Quigley leave enough close rounds where they can rob him? Right? That was my. And then look, look. Berlanga did what he needed to do and he got three knockdowns. But it didn't matter because he was already up so big on all the cards. And how could anyone have that? He wasn't winning that fight, clearly. If he was winning the fight, it was only because he got a gift in terms of the knockdown, which he didn't deserve. And then we go to the cards, 118-109. Quickly won two rounds in that fight? What is y'all watching? Seriously, what is y'all watching? Then, I mean... Both of that, those, just atrocious. You go to, back to the, the, the J-Rock fight. J-Rock, shout out to J-Rock. You handled that like a pro. That was one of the worst stoppages I've seen. I mean, the worst stoppage is what they did to my boy uh, in, in the Rolly Ramiro fight. That was the worst, okay? So you're not going to get robber of the year. But this was pretty bad, right? This was a horrible stoppage. And I'm a guy that favors a, a quicker stoppage than most. That was egregious, atrocious, no good, horrible, ridiculous. Just, I mean, absolutely ridiculous. J-Rock handled it perfectly. He let Breadman go nuts. Breadman was going nuts, screaming up Mark Nelson, calling him every single cuss word you can think of. And, and, and J-Rock just goes, it was, it was, it was, it was BS stoppage, which it was. Shout out to J Rock. You handle that like a professional. You let your coach go nuts. You let your coach get the technical, like in basketball, and you just stay calm. Um, 
But I mean, just egregious. Boxing needs to do better than this, fellas. Um, they they got to stop putting fights in, in Minnesota. It's just every time there's a problem. The commission is awful. They're not equipped for this. Um, and something's got to be done about these hometown decisions, these hometown scorecards, man. Like, I, I don't know what it is. We got I, I something's got to we got to start explaining 118, 109, and not playing a fight. I don't even have. I don't even. I got nothing. Like, and then eighty to seventy-two in favor uh, 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 of Adamas. It went every round. What fight are you watching? I can't take this anymore. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, it is June. And also, please subscribe to the other Texas Boxing on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is June 25th, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.